welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got a $10 stock up haul from the Dollar Tree. While we were out running errands, I ran into Dollar Tree and I gave myself a $10 budget. So I just picked up a few things this week but I wanted to share them with you guys. Some haven't been in stock for a while and some, you know, have been right along. Still, they're missing a few things. Most of the stuff was pretty full. It looked fairly good. There was tons of Christmas stuff and craft stuff and, you know, storage bins and things like that. But uh, in the food section, it was in, some was there, some wasn't. Um, there was quite a few different things but not all things that I was looking for and they still I could not find matches there I asked they don't have any matches in the store and also they didn't have any lighters that I could find other than the little teeny ones and I don't feel like those are a great deal but I do like the long uh, ones for grills and candles and things like that um, but they didn't have those that this time when I went in their like hardware section and things like that was okay. It wasn't great and it, you know, it wasn't completely full, but it wasn't empty either. They had a decent amount of stuff, which was nice. So let's jump in here and see what we got. I got a mixture of pantry items and supplies. All right. So this week I picked up two of the, um, a pack of two of the long candles. I don't know if you guys, I didn't do a video on it because I didn't think it was a whole video worth. Uh, if you take one of these candles and stick it in a jar of Crisco, that puppy will last you weeks, weeks. So you can use that, any fats really, to make a candle. If you've got hard fats, you can stick one of these candles right down inside it in the middle and burn it. The only issue is when you get down to the bottom, you do not want to burn that because with that wick floating around, is very dangerous it can light the sides of the container on fire and you know once it gets down and the bottom starts to get clear you don't want to run it anymore it's too dangerous that way because when you buy candles the wicks are adhered to the bottom and but these candles also I picked up one of these I love these long candles I think they're great they last quite a while and you can reuse the jars, which is nice, and they're all contained in the glass. I have heard people say that theirs cracked, but I have not had that issue. We try to keep the wick trimmed nice and small so it's not flopping around or anything. And so that is one of my other goodies. I'll put these here so you can see them. And let's see, the next item. Oh, I picked up another one of these little lights. These are super handy to have if the lights go out. We have them uh, in the pantry in a couple different places so we don't have to turn the overhead light on And because um, you're just in there for a minute or two looking for something. So no sense to turn the um, electrical light on. If you're in there for a while, definitely we do. But And when the power goes out, these are nice and handy. You can just reach. If you put them near your light switch, then you know right where they are. And they are super bright. This one has a little kickstand, and it has the little stickers so you can stick it to the wall. And they are super duper bright. They work really well. So I like these, and when I can find them, I like to grab a couple of these to stick in the pantry. All right, so I also picked up, they had just a few of these in stock. They didn't have that many, but I picked up an extra window alarm or door alarm. These are great for, you, you know, in the summertime, if you have your window cracked open a little bit, uh, if it moves at all, this is going, these are super duper loud and they will definitely wake you up. Oh my goodness. They'll blow your ears out if you stand next to it. <laughs> but these work really well. They're also great if you have uh, someone in your family that roams around at nighttime and you're worried about them. You know if they open the door, things like that. It's just magnetic and these have the little sticky things on the back so you can stick them to anything really. It's just when they come apart, either this way or this way, they it just goes really loud. <laughs> really loud. <laughs> Let's 
see what else oh i grabbed an extra pack of zip ties we love zip ties they are so handy for so many things to bundle things together keep things organized things like that we love them great for repairing a quick a quick repair on a fence until you can get to um fixing it properly these work great for so many different things so i try to keep tons of these in the house and let's see, I think the rest is food. Nope, here's one more. And I picked up another three pack of glow sticks. These are wonderful for emergencies. We keep them in the car, in our go bags, all kinds of stuff. Um, they are in the kids section, but they work really, really well. You just snap them and you've got glow stick, you've got a light. So it's quick, easy access. You can hang these on the key rack next to the door just so it's handy or anything really they're small enough you can just stick them in anywhere they're great for tons of things let's see oh yes and uh, I tried the sweet relish I bought that a few weeks ago and I tried it and it is really good so I just grabbed one more to toss into the pantry so we have extra and it's actually it was really good sweet relish so for a buck you can't beat that I'm happy to have that in the pantry. And they did have some of the shelf-stable milk in stock. They had a whole bunch of different ones, whole milk, low-fat milk. I like, we like the unsweetened almond milk for certain things, so I grabbed another one of these to put in the pantry just so we have it. They are great to cook with, all kinds of stuff. A lot of people drink the whole milk and the low-fat, so, and they're great in cereals, too. It works really good for that. So another great item to have on the shelf. Check your Dollar Trees. Ours just got some in, so that was nice. And then I grabbed another one of the Hungry Jacks. Um, these potatoes are so easy. You can open the container and literally just put the water in the container and then let them sit for 10 minutes. I close it back up, drain the water out, and then you can toss it in the pan and cook it any way that you would normally cook shredded potatoes. So they work really great, good for casseroles, all kinds of stuff. Um, we really like them. So they are great. And I grabbed one more pack of the Outrageous Oats. Outrageous Oats, not Outrageous. They are, um, these are super good. They're cut pretty small. So all you have to do is boil water, pour it on top, let it sit for a minute or two. And, uh, you know, quick and easy. So stinking easy. And they are really good. We eat them all Those the time. Those are the items that I found at Dollar Tree this week in my $10 budget pantry haul. And I would love to hear how your Dollar Trees are doing. Our store is still rated a dollar. It hasn't gone up at all. And um, I'd love to hear how yours is. How full is it? Has it gone up? I have heard a few people say their stores have gone up to $1.25 so far. And I'd love to hear how you're doing. And if you're finding anything new, there's not, I didn't really get any new items because there wasn't anything that I was looking for that was new. It was all things that I had previously bought, but definitely more that I wanted to get in the pantry. And just $10 really helps by getting, you know, little by little, it really adds up over time. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.